What is up, everyone? How is everyone doing out there today? Welcome back to Wildcat MTG. And uh, yeah, here we are. We have another couple of collector booster boxes from Commander Masters today. Um, I've done a couple of openings previously already. And um, all in all, I think I've had some pretty good success with my pulls from my prior openings of collector booster boxes for Commander Masters. But um, I've yet to hit a textured foil yet and I would really really like to hit one of those so we're gonna give it another shot today we're gonna open two more collector booster boxes and uh, you know there's plenty of fun stuff in here I really like uh, some of the treatments um, I think the frame break stuff is really really cool looking I think that really jumps off the card I think that's kind of the point of it and um, yeah you know what I'm hoping to hit some other fun stuff today with that being said why don't we go ahead and dive on in and let's crack some packs um, I have hit uh, multiple multiple yeah, I've hit multiple Jewel Lotuses now, so that's cool, which is cool because I, I didn't own any copies before this set came out, so that's kind of fun. Um, I've hit some other, you know, like I said, some some pretty good stuff. I don't know that I've, you know, I don't know that I've just stone cold crushed it, but I definitely don't feel like I've, I've been crushed in my prior openings. And uh, I've enjoyed the experience. I enjoyed it when it was... You know, the, the layouts in this are very similar to Double Masters 2022. There are some subtle differences, though. I have noticed that. Um, it does seem that the uh, etched foils are, um, you know, the etched foil mythics are a little bit more bountiful. It looks like the pull rates are really, have been increased on those. Um, and uh, the interesting inclusion of the commander cards in here um, is, well, it's interesting. All right, here we go. Pack number one. Um, I'm gonna divide these up. In the past, I've done my, I've kind of done them by the, I put the columns and organized them by the type of uh, pull it was, whether it was etched foil or whatever. This time, we're gonna kind of separate out all the mythics and all the uh, other borderless, fun borderless rares and etched foils and stuff, and we'll see how we do. All right, here we go. We are gonna start off with our fancy Rebecca Gway. Mountain. Now we're getting geared to our first borderless uncommon. It is a myriad landscape. Nice. Now we have ourselves an Elvish Mystic. Also beautiful. I dig it. Hey, Factor Fiction. Gosh, I was looking to see one of these. I really wanted to see these in foil. This one in foil because I haven't seen it yet. And it doesn't disappoint. I really, really love that yellow behind that. That blue meshed in. I think it looks gorgeous. Alright, here we go. First pack foil rare or mythic is going to be a Dracuseth. Ma of Flames, definitely uh, a card that you have to get off the battlefield, otherwise it is a it is a problem. <laughs> all right, etch first etch foil is going to be Song of the Dryads. Okay, all right. Uh, this card was pretty pricey. You know, it carried some good value before the reprint. I suspect now that this with this giant reprint, it's way down. Hatchery Sliver. Okay, very good. In my previous opening, I don't think I pulled any foil cards out of this commander slot. I'm told that they're about like 20% pull rate on foils, so. Any of them that you pull in foil probably carry a little bit of a premium on them. All right, next up after that, we have a training center. All right, borderless training center. Pretty good, pretty good. And we conclude this one. First one, <laughs> let's say uh, borderless foil training center. Um, I will say that I don't get as excited about having those crowd lands in that last spot. Um, yes, it's cool to have the, the best treatment of it, um, but... Uh, you know, these packs are obviously not super inexpensive and, and those lands just don't make up for it. So all in all, we have to say that that first pack was uh, a little bit of a letdown if we are being honest with ourselves. But a lot of ball game left here. We're only on pack number two. There's enough good, to hit, good hits in this set that if you have one really bananas pack, it can make up for a whole lot. Here we go. Rishkar into our mountain. All right, here we go. Dread Return. Sweet. For that counter spell, we'll take it. Foil is going to be a Dread Return, all right? Borderless Foil, Dread Return. Not bad, not bad. Pack Foil is going to be a Evacuation. I would have rather have seen that as a... Would have, I would have loved to have seen that as a Cyclonic Rift. All right, Etch Foil. It's a Mythic. It is an Extra Planar Lands. Okay, nice. So I've heard folks saying that these boxes are good for at least one, usually two Etch Foil Mythics per box, which I find to be extremely interesting. That is definitely a much higher pull rate than a Double Masters 2022. All right, into our Commander card. It is a uh, Narsi Fable Singer. Okay, that is a Mythic, by the way, so we are going to throw it over to the side here. All right, uh, I don't think it's a Mythic that we're going to be, like, super pumped about, but, you know, it is a Mythic nonetheless, and it's uh, out of that Commander slot, so we'll take it. 
All right, here we go. Next rare after that is a Marin of uh, Clan Nelpoth. Okay, not a big hitter there. And we're going to conclude with a Flawless Maneuver in the Borderless, that Frame Break Borderless Foil. Nice. I know it's not, you know, Fierce Guardianship or even Deadly Relic or, or Deflecting Swap, but it does look really, really pretty. That is a sweet looking art. All right. That's better. That's that's not bad. It's not killing it, but it's not bad. Two packs left. So we have one Mythic thus far in this first collector box. Flawless Maneuver is pretty sweet looking. But, uh, you know, we're probably, we're probably behind on the scoreboard. All right, here we go. Ooh, sweet. Uncommon Foil Path to Exile. Very nice. That's our third mountain of this box. All right. All right, first borderless uncommon or common is going to be a frantic surge into a path of ancestry. Nice, nice. Obviously super playable. I love how many good playable commons and uncommons they have in these really nice borderless treatments. All right, foil is going to be a Kodama's Reach. Also pretty good. Pack foil is... <laughs> I asked for it and I got it. I saw the evac and I was like, I wish, I wish that was a Cyclonic Rift. Well, there you go. We have a Cyclonic Rift. We will take that. Very, very nice. That is a, uh, that is a, a, that is a hit. That is a certifiable hit. And out of that pack foil slot, that is a really, really good spot to hit something. Very nice. All right. Good Cyclonic Rift. And then we have a Mythic. It is a Machaeus the Unhallowed. So we have an etched foil Machaeus the Unhallowed. Really nice. All right. We'll take that as our second Mythic of this box, right? Yeah. Okay. After that, we have ourselves a Jaius Phoenix. So that's a commander card. All right. And into a Kaikar Wind Fury. All right, nothing, nothing crazy there. Something in the back. A Yuriko Tiger, the Tiger Shadow. That is a. You know what? I've said this before. The profile arts aren't my favorite, but I actually think Yuriko looks really cool. I, I like it. I dig it. All right. So the Cyclonic Rift might actually end up being the best hit in that particular pack, uh, if we're uh, if we're being honest with ourselves there. Uh, Machaeus, I mean, you know, etch foil Machaeus is nothing to sneeze at. All right, last pack of this first box. Um, we do need some help. We do have three mythics, counting the uh, counting the commander one. Can't can't not count that. All right, we're gonna need some help though. <clears throat> Gutter snipe it common, nice. All right, here we go. Padim. All right, so we got ourselves an island. Broke we broke the. Uh, Streak of, of mountains. Here we go. Reliquary Tower. Obviously pretty good. All that glitters. Uh-huh. Into the uncommon or common foil. It is Path of Ancestry. Pack foil is a mythic. It is a Twilight Prophet. All right. That's not bad. Hitting a mythic in that pack foil slot is, is, not, is not specifically, you know, very easy. So Twilight Prophet, pretty good card. Absolutely will take that. Very nice. Um, yeah, we'll put that over there. Sure. Grand Abolisher in the Etched. That is a, actually a really solid hit as well. Etched Foil, Grand Abolisher. Very, very nice. Okay. Into the Commander card, which is Onaki Oathkeeper. Actually, I actually think that's a pretty decent hit as well. That seems pretty good. That's a, that's a fair hit. We'll, we'll take that. Into our Borderless, which is... Oh, it's a Mythic. What is this? It's Spellseeker. Nice. Okay. That does give us a fifth Mythic of this box, which is kind of seems to be closer to the average. We conclude with, oh, what is this? Neheb. All right. It isn't. So we end up getting six mythics in this box. That's not bad. I don't know that Neheb profile pick is going to be a huge hit. I think Spellseeker is actually pretty cool. So we'll put that right there. So it ended up being, actually ends up being a six mythic box. Got ourselves a Cyclonic Rift and a Grand Abolisher as well. All right. Here we go. We are still on the hunt for a, a textured foil card into box number two. I don't think that box was like over the top spicy, right? Like we have to be honest with ourselves. Um, good hits, but nothing, no game breakers. Here we go. Into box number two. Vandal Blast, very nice. All right, Raph. Got ourselves a Elena Danner. Beautiful foil planes. Kodama's Reach, uh-huh. Commander's Sphere. Into Faithless Looting, nice, good. Borderless foil. Pack foil is going to be a regal behemoth. All right. Not crazy. Goto bandit warlord. Okay. All right. Goto is probably, you know, a dollar or two. 
Commander Slot is a Ondu Spirit Dancer. Actually, might be a decent hit as well. All right, here we go. Gonna need some help though. Need to pick it up. Rare is a Pure Steel Paladin. I will absolutely take myself a Borderless Pure Steel Paladin. Very, very nice. And we conclude with a uh, Urza. All right, Urza in the it's a it's a foil. It's a profile pick. Urza foil. Uh, you know, at this point, I think the thing. I mean. No one's going to argue the power level of Urza, and actually, I think that, that purple actually shines pretty good. That's really nice looking. But uh, the the closeness of reprints on Urza, so close together, that really, really does hurt that card, at least from a value standpoint. And I don't know what's going to end up shaking out to be, but I just know that having it in Dominaria, was it Dominaria Remastered, uh, which was only earlier this year, and then having it in this set, it does kind of hurt it. All right, here we go. Into pack number two. Ooh, nice. Elvish Mystic into Eternal Witness into Padim. Okay. All right. Island. Yep. Vandal Blast. Always pretty good. Nice borderless card. Shuri. Uncommon is a Stormkiln Artist. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen that yet. Uh, as far as a borderless foil Stormkiln Artist. That's kind of cool. All right. We'll take that. Pack Foil is going to be a Carador. At least it was downshifted. At least it's not a Mythic anymore. <laughs> Small victories. All right, here we go. Etch is going to be a Sword of the Animist. All right, decent hit. Not uh, not over the top and crazy, but decent. Pretty good etch. After that, a Composer of Spring. I don't recall that card offhand. Rare is a Gisela Blade of uh, Gold Knight. All right. So don't, I don't know if I have any copies of her, so it's cool. I actually really like the art. I think that's pretty beautiful. We conclude with a Tooth and Nail. Good old Tooth and Nail. Uh, it is a borderless foil Tooth and Nail. We will take that. Probably like a, you know, it's, it's probably a few bucks. It's, it'll probably end up, it's a really cool reprint. It still holds up as being a good card. Not sure what the value is going to end up being at. All right, pack number three. Uh, this box... This box needs some help. Here we go. Urza the only mythic out of this box so far? I think he is. Holy moly. All right, here we go. Oh, I think I just saw something kind of cool. It is a soul ring. Borderless soul ring. That's actually the first one of these I've pulled. And uh, that is pretty sweet. Borderless soul ring. Gotta admit, that looks pretty good. All right, not bad. Bet the foil looks really good. But that's actually the first one of those I pulled. I think they're pretty hard to get. Uh, Nadir's Nightblade, yeah. After that, a generous gift, uh-huh. Into our pack foil is a Stone Hoof Chieftain, okay. Etched is gonna be a Hammer of Nazan. It's a third Hammer of Nazan I pulled, okay. Um, you know, it's it's gonna be a few bucks. It's not gonna be crazy good, but it's, it's fine. Commander card is a, what is it, Descendant's Fury? Unsure if that uh, has any value at this point. After that, a Maelstrom Wanderer. Oh, man. This pack is uh, is needing some severe help. And after that, a Champion's Helm. Really cool looking. Uh, not bad, but not like a, not going to be a, a, a mega hit. Really love the art on it, though. Can't, can't fault that. All right. Pack number four. Last pack of this opening. Rogue's Passage. Another nice, hey, Soul Ring. We'll take that. Cool, cool. All right, here we go. Forest, yeah. Faithless Looting, always good. Reality Shift. Don't, don't see too many of those as well. Nice Command Tower. We'll take a Foil Command Tower. All right, Pack Foil is going to be a Marin of Clan Nelpoth. Okay. All right, I've seen a couple of the profile picks. Into the etched, it is a bribery. Hey, I actually don't think I've seen a bribery yet. Nice, might be my first bribery pull. Uh, that is a uh, that is an etched foil mythic. We will take it. All right, rare after that is a skittering cicada. That is the commander card. Again, I'm not sure if that one has any specific value. After that, a regal behemoth, and we are back to our last pull of this opening. Here we go. It is a. Tesa Karlov. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, that one kind of hurt. That one kind of hurt. I don't think box two was specifically very good. I actually don't think it was very good at all. Yeah. Okay. 
So, uh, you know, box one was decent. Box two, I have to be honest, was a little underwhelming. Some good hits overall, but obviously, you know, with the price tag of not being free, uh, we have to call it what it is, and that box two was kind of a dud, right? Got some good hits, but, but definitely not where it needed to be. Well, that is going to do it for me today. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. And if you did, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button for me. Hit the like button for me. And by all means, drop me some comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much, everybody. And be well.